Okay, I need a little bit of help here, okay? Your part goes like this. Clap, 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 clap. Kein Kurs Sport bin ich, kein Kurs geht mehr. Kurs ist bin kein mehr mit dich, Kurs ist bin kein mehr mit dich. Kurs muss mein Euler Ego sein. Ego ist es Zeit, sie und du kein kein Kurs ist sie und du. Als du sie dann mag, kein kein Kurs ist ein Kurs sie und du. Miss Roya, have no fear, Mashiach will be here this year. I Miss Roya, have no fear, Mashiach will be here this year. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. I must die. Do we have to wait? We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. All right. Thank you. Baruch has put together a very interesting program here tonight, and there's an awful lot of performers, and we've all agreed to keep our times down to make it a concert of reasonable length. And so in the time that I have, I'd like to do some songs that all of you have made very popular. My Zadie lived with us in my parents' home. And he used to laugh. He put me on his knee. And he spoke about his life in Poland. He spoke but with a bitter memory and he spoke about the soldiers who would beat him and they laughed at him they tore his long black coat and he spoke about a synagogue that they burnt down and the crying that was heard beneath the smoke but Sadie made us laugh, Sadie made us sing, and Sadie made us kiddish Friday night. And Sadie, oh my Sadie, how I love him so. And Sadie used to teach me wrong from right. His eyes lit up when he would teach me Torah. And he taught me every line so carefully And he spoke about our slavery in Egypt And how God took us out to make us free But winter went by Summer came along I went to camp to run and play And when I came back home they said, Sadie's gone, and all his books were packed and stored away, and I don't know how or why it came to be, it happened slowly over many years, we just stopped being Jewish like my Sadie was, and no one cared enough to shed a tear. But Sadie made us laugh, Sadie made us sing, and Sadie made us Seder taste of night. And Sadie, oh my Sadie, how I love him so. And Sadie used to teach me wrong from right. And many winters went by, and many summers came along. Now my children sit in front of me And who will be the Zadie of my children? Who will be their Zadie if not me? Who will be the Zadies 
of our children. Who will be their saints if not we? And they made us laugh. They made us sing. And they made us kiddish Friday night. Wrong from right. Thank you. I like telling this story over and over again because it's uh, it's quite relevant to what's happening. I was in a Baal Tshuva Yeshiva in Yerushalayim, primarily as the consequence of a Lubavitcher rabbi in Los Angeles caring enough to put some tefillin on a hippie musician about ten and a half years ago. And one of the things in the Baal Tshuva Yeshiva in Yerushalayim that we were all curious about was what would it have been like to have been raised in a home where the father, let's say, was a rabbi? Well, the curiosity was put to rest about three years ago for myself when I met a very talented songwriter whose name is A.B. Rotenberg. He resides in Toronto. And he wrote an expose of that experience, which was his in his childhood. When we were young yeshiva boys, way back in 65, we were known throughout the city as the bombs from the east side. In school we never studied, all we did was laugh and play, and no Rebbe ever lasted long, they all just ran away. Rebbe tried to teach us Torah each and every day. We just closed our eyes and ears to everything he'd say, and all we liked to do was sit and watch our TV sets. We talk about the Yankees and the Dodgers and the Mets. Well, the principal brought the new Rebbe in, first day of the term. And he said to him, show discipline, be strong, tough, and firm. Don't think these youngsters run the school, he said with a big frown. And by the way, for the next few weeks, I'm going out of town. This year, Rebbe, he was strange. He never lost his cool. He kept right on teaching while we broke all the rules. And even though we hadn't learned a single thing all year, it was Pesach time already, and that Rebbe was still here. Rebbe tried to teach us Torah each and every day. We just closed our eyes and ears to everything he'd say. And all we liked to do was sit and watch our TV sets. We talk about the Yankees and the Dodgers and the Mets. Well, when Lod Omer came around, it was time for the big game. Against those boys from Brooklyn, how we prayed it wouldn't rain. All nine of us got on the bus. With our gloves and bats, Rebbe also came along in his jacket, tie, and hat. Right from the start, we all could see things weren't going right. Some big, strong kid from Bensonhurst hit one out of sight. And just as things were looking up and the tide about to turn, our catcher went and broke his leg while sliding into third. It's a forfeit, cried the other team. You only got eight guys. No, we don't, a deep voice said, much to our surprise. And since I am their Rebbe, the fair thing it would seem is let me be the ninth man, ninth man on the team. <laughs> Rebbe went, picked up the bat, faced the pitcher with a smile, knocked the cover off the ball, went about half a mile. He flew around the bases, and he scored the winning run. And we danced and cheered until he said, Now, boys, you owe me one. The next day in the classroom, no one moved, no one stirred. Rebbe started teaching, and his voice, it could be heard. We all said, hey, it's interesting. The man, he is no bore. The legendary East Side bombs were gone forevermore. Rebbe used to teach us Torah each and every day. You know, we opened up our eyes and ears to everything he'd say. And
and no more did we sit all day and watch our TV set. Uh-uh. We talk about Rashi and the Tosafus and the Mets. <laughs> Thank you. I was not asked to do this. Uh, I'm doing this of my own volition, um, the, this next little bit here. First of all, I, I've got time for about one more song, and there's an awful lot of other great music here tonight for you. And uh, the, the, uh, the fact is, is that Lubavitch cares for people, and uh, were it not for that caring, an awful lot of Jewish people would be further away from Torah than without uh, Lubavitch caring for them. And uh, Jewish pride is something that constantly needs to be re-emphasized, so I'll leave you with this message. I don't want to change my name. I've got nothing to be ashamed of. And I've got no secrets from you I came in the world this way and I'm going out the same I'm going to live my life and die as a Jew I'm a Jew I'm a Jew and I got nothing to apologize to you I'm a son of Abraham I've been leaving a promised land They all made it through their troubles Cause a little faith in God will always win I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew And I got nothing to apologize to you I'm a son of Abraham I believe in the promised land everybody. What do you say we bring them back for one more? No? <laughs> Nachas is for me. Nachas is last Pesach in the Seder uh, Kanai Nahora since I met the rabbi in Los Angeles ten and a half years ago. There's been a few additions to my family. Kanai Nahora, the kids are seven, six, five, four, three, and two. <laughs> and uh, Nachis is having four of your kids learning, learning what, unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to learn as a boy, and to conduct a Seder and have your seven-year-old kid give you some novel interpretations that he learned from his Rebbe on the Haggadah. So this is to my boys and, most of all, to my wife. boy, 
that's my little boy with a rabbi all around him that's my boy eight days old just eight days old with the rabbi and the mole that's my boy we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm and that's my boy that's my little boy with his talus and his tefillin that's my boy just 13 he's just 13 and now he's reading from the torah that's my boy we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm and that's my boy that's my little boy now he's underneath the chuppah that's my boy so very young so very young with his bride his wedding ring that's my boy we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm and that's his boy that's his little boy with a rabbi all around him that's his boy eight days old just eight days old with the rabbi and the mole that's his boy we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god to keep him safe from harm we make a kiddish on the wine and we say a little prayer and we pray to god Thank you.